What's happening, everybody? Scott coming at you from the tackle shop here at Saltwater Scale Models. Um, just wanted to do a quick update on the Revell 59 Cadillac Eldorado hardtop before I started uh, final assembly. Um, you guys have seen the chassis before. Uh, I'll just give you a quick look. It turned out really nice. Um, looks good. Got the uh, wheels and tires on. I actually uh, uh, blackwashed the. Uh, the wheels um, you can't really tell it's on the uneven ground here but the stance is just the way it's supposed to be so everything lined up really nice uh, got the engine installed um, uh, nothing too crazy just straightforward um, as I mentioned before other than the piece on top here the uh, the valve covers are um, uh, dupli color chrome and I think it looks really good not too shiny, not too dull, it turned out really nice, so let me put that back, I'll give you a quick look at the interior um, there's the interior so far uh, same two colors, I did have a few issues uh, um, I had a little, uh, when I first sprayed sprayed it, it was a little, I thinned it out a little bit and it was a little wet so it it did bleed, but um, I just took, uh, I took, I soaked the uh, soaked the white in uh, with a, a q-tip and softened it up a little bit and then went in with a toothpick and just got oops sorry got rid of it so i didn't have to uh um didn't have you know i was didn't have to start all over again um nothing too crazy just uh trying to build nice and clean um you know uh detailed the parts the knobs and door handles that needed to be detailed just used uh god sorry guys uh chrome silver um, so that's coming together. Let me see. Here's the front seat. Same deal. Um, so I think the interior is going to look nice. And let's see the dash. Uh, came together real well. Uh, there's only one decal with this kit. You can't really see it. Um, all the other, uh, you know, the, the gauge clusters are, are just um, painted chrome silver. Um, I haven't. Uh, I haven't dry brushed them at all to try to bring out the the dials, but um, uh, it's a pretty pretty basic dash. So there's that, and finally, let me move this out of the way. We'll get to the body. This was a lot of fun, as you can see. There is a ton of bare metal foil. Um, it turned out really really well, um, but like you see on the top of the uh, top of the fins really really thin thin spots trying to get that out of there it took me it took me a long time uh polished and uh wet sanded and polished so the finish turned out really nice um the the I might wet sand the top again the, the reflections now you can't see it but not quite as sharp as i'd like it to be um uh but the rest of it looks really really nice so just give you a quick look all right guys um like i said just want to do a quick update before I show you the interior and stuff before i uh before i actually start uh, doing final assembly so thanks for watching and uh stay tuned and we'll have the uh reveal pretty soon all right peace love and happiness guys